Hello viewers, my name is Leopold Munende. You are watching NewZimbabwe.com. Government continues to persuade local businesses to lower their prices, with signs that operators were not keen on the idea, citing economic variables that have prompted the increases. The government, through the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, on Monday met business leaders to try and reach a lasting solution to a crisis that has made life more difficult for many poor locals. Minister Mangaliso Ndlovu presided over the Harare Indaba, which was attended by business leaders, among them the Confederation of Zimbabwe Industries, the Consumer Council of Zimbabwe, and the Zimbabwe National Chamber of Commerce. Addressing the delegates, Minister Ndlovu urged business to stick to gazetted prices of goods and services. We propose that manufacturers and service providers publicize and display recommended retail prices on all goods on, on shelves. The minister further said government will, however, not impose any price controls because authorities want to create a free market for goods and services. However, there were signs that the closed-door meeting that took place soon after the minister's keynote address failed to yield the desired outcome, as business also insisted on prevailing economic fundamentals in forming their pricing models. United Refineries Limited Chief Executive Wusi Samoya spoke to NewZimbabwe.com soon after the meeting. The meeting was progressive. The meeting was to really to engage. The, the minister is reaching out, um, out of camera, so we can talk. It was a no-holds-barred conversation uh, where we were very candid, polite, but candid. Bring out the real issues uh, that industry uh, is facing because we have challenges. We've got festive season upon us, we've got an agricultural season upon us. These are very critical uh, issues that need to be tackled. And so this was an engagement and at the minister's request and I think it was, it was wise because he got to hear the real issues um, and not just talking about the issues on the surface. We did highlight to the minister that once people are certain of availability, even if it's little, but if it's certain, we have been short, the cooking oil industry has been operating at 30 to 40 percent capacity for since January. That's where we have been. So this is not new. Um, the, the only thing is people now, there is no predictability uh, because suddenly we found ourselves without currency, unable to supply certain things. But even with the little that you have, if people know that monthly I'm going to get my one bottle, my two bottles, that predictability you will see it going away. It's starting to go away because we're starting to address some of the supply side challenges through the support of Reserve Bank and we're starting to normalize. The more we continue to do that and be predictable um, in crisis, then you've got an anchor, you've got people now starting to, um, you know, to behave rationally. Government's attempt to persuade businesses to lower prices comes a few weeks after President Emerson Mnangagwa held a similar meeting with business leaders and other decision makers to try and find a solution to a crisis that has seen disposable income whittled down. Civil servants, whose wages have remained stagnant, bear the brunt of the crisis. The impasse between government and business was triggered by a price increase beginning of last month, which operators attribute to government's tough tax measures as well as a plunge in the local bond note compared to the more stable US dollar. Reporting for NewZimbabwe.com, this is Leopold Munende. For these and more stories, log on to our website www.newzimbabwe.com.